Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some homemade macaroni and cheese. We'll start with cheese sauce. It's also great for scalloped potatoes. The biggest thing I've found is that if you grate your own cheese, it's just got a lot more flavor. It's also better for you because it doesn't have all of those additives that the shredded cheese does. And, and it's a lot cheaper. This mac and cheese goes real fast at Church Potluck. All right, I'm making my cheese sauce. I have melted stick of butter and added my spices, paprika, garlic powder, salt, pepper. And I'm going to let that bubble for a minute and then put in my flour. With the flour, you're going to want to put it in enough to make it a very thick paste. And then you'll start adding some milk. Alright, I'm going to be stirring this milk in and making sure there's no lumps. And as it thickens, I'm going to add a little bit more milk. I'm going to simmer it on low until it gets that kind of like, not a paste, but I don't know, like when you go have milk gravy. Um, on biscuits, you're going to want to cook it until it looks about like that. I boiled and drained my noodles while I was making my cheese sauce. Um, one extra awesome tip that I learned from a good friend um, is that you really need to salt the um, water a lot. Um, not just a little bit, just go for it because it makes the pasta taste a lot better. While that was going on, I've been simmering my sauce on low. Got a little thick, so I had to add a little extra milk. But you can just keep adding if it uh, gets a little thick. But do a little bit at a time. I stuck in a brick of cream cheese and I've melted it and keep whipping a little bit. It, stir, it works a lot better with a whisk. Now I'm gonna start adding um, my other cheeses to my cheese sauce. I've got some pre-shredded Parmesan. That's one thing I don't shred myself. I've got about half a bag in here. I'm going to dump that in. Whisk it a bit. I've also shredded um, eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. And then this white extra, extra sharp cheese. The sharper, the better. It just gives more flavor. I'm not going to pour all of it in my sauce um, because you'll see when I start making, uh, putting them in the casserole dishes to bake, I'm going to layer cheese in between the layers. So I'm not going to use all of it now. double my batch because I am uh, freezing some to take on spring break. I'm taking a bunch of teenagers and apparently they're picky. So if they don't eat macaroni and cheese, I'm not quite sure what I'll feed them. Now the final part to making the mac and cheese, and this is very important. I'm going to take my noodles Hannah and I picked out um, the farfalle noodles instead of the macaroni, but you really you can use anything. I've done it with penne noodles, um, with regular macaroni. I've drained them in this colander. I'm going to put a layer here. Put a layer of my cheese sauce. The nice thing is if, if you get it a little bit too runny, um, it's going to thicken up while you bake it. So better a little runny than making it too, too thick. The 
this sauce all over. Then I'm going to take handfuls of this shredded cheese, a layer. Kicker, we'll take more noodles. Spread them across. And I'm gonna go for another layer. I'm gonna stick it in the oven, preheated oven, about 375. I'm going to stick it in there for about 30 minutes until it's a little browned on the top and bubbly. And it will be good to go. My casseroles that I'm freezing, because I am going to freeze a couple, um, I'll just do everything but the baking part. Then defrost them. Prior to sticking them in. Or even if not, I'll cover it before I cook them, but enjoy.